Hello everybody. As you see, I'm back. I'm glad to be here and I'm glad that you are watching my new video here about the creative power of doodling. I have uh, made a video before about doodling, um, but since I think it is so important to get out of a stuck place or loosen up um, wanting to be creative again that I present the doodling one more time. So doodling for divination, a creative meditation and definitely inspiration. What you need for doodling is a piece of paper, one pen or two um, I used to. And the idea is that you doodle and doodle and doodle until you feel it's enough doodling and then you stop. The condition though is that you keep your eyes closed while you're doodling and uh, think of, I don't know, your shopping list or the weather report or whatever so that you do not focus on the doodling itself and with closed eyes it is easy to do. So I invite you to take um, paper and pen and close your eyes when you watch this video again and start to doodle as I will now for maybe one minute. I will see. I close my eyes and start to doodle. So I think of my shopping list while my hand is going over the paper. What do I need to shop later? I think I'm lacking honey and I need some muesli. I have to go to the post office and what else? Uh, probably have to do other shopping that I cannot think of now because I'm also talking to you. So I will stop doodling now. So this is how it looks. Just random lines. What do I do with it now? I said divination, creative meditation, this was the process, and inspiration. Now, for me, I do not have a certain subject at hand that I need an answer to or um, something that needs to be resolved, a question I need an answer. I just do the doodling to um, explain to you how it goes. But you might have a question, something um, that's burning on your soul that you uh, need an answer to. And your doodling can be very helpful for that. So I show you my doodling again. And what do I do? I take my second pen or pencil and I just search on my doodle. I hope I can do it here. I search for some figures, faces, animals, uh, objects, something that springs to mind, springs to my eye when I look uh, at my doodling. Let me see what I can find there in my doodling. I think here I see a figure. A figure and another figure. There are two figures sitting together. Um, I will, you see, I I outlined it. Can you see? Maybe not. I have to use a thicker line. And now you will be able to see it better. There in the corner. Two people sitting together. Um, if you want, you can go further on and into your doodling and find uh, other objects, animals, themes. Uh, for me, I stay now just for the explanation with uh, those little figures sitting together. Now, um, what we do now, the next step is, I do it now, I find five uh, words that go spontaneously with the two figures there. Five associations that come to my mind. 
So what comes to mind right now, um, I do it here uh, spontaneously, intuitively. I have not prepared it otherwise. So the first word that comes is together. And the second is friends. Then I see third, compassion. Um, communication. And the fifth word is uh, tenderness. Or oh, togetherness, I make it. Um, nouns. So I wrote my five associations, togetherness, friends, compassion, communication, and tenderness. So um, what I will do now with these five words, but this is me, for you it is an answer, there is the answer to your question in those five words. I will go and make a bigger painting with this idea of togetherness, communication, compassion. So I will bring this aspect of my doodling <coughs> onto a much, much bigger paper or even canvas and have my new subject for my new painting, which I would call, I take the fifth word, tenderness. So whatever colors I, am, I feel inspired to when I hear the word tenderness, I will take and make a big, a much bigger um, piece of art uh, with the idea of tenderness at heart. Now, for you, just see the five words contain the answer to your question, I'm sure. It might be that you write a story about one of the words that came up. It could be that you are an artist as well and you want to make a bigger painting uh, of it or it is just an answer to one of your life questions. So um, if it were for me, I could say uh, maybe I need more communication. Maybe this is something that I aspire, that I lack, that I need to um, do more in my life. Um, um, contact friends or whatever came here, the five words I will take. But for me, it is really an inspiration for another artwork. So here you are, another tool uh, for being creative, getting out of your daily rut, getting out of a stuck place, having fun, be playful, and see you next time. In the meantime, be creative. Wishing you a wonderful day. Bye-bye.